Greetings, everybody, and welcome to a new episode of Cooking with the Duck. We are working on some of the recipes in the official Five Nights at Freddy's cookbook. Last time we did the pizza, I am going to use some of the dough from that recipe and the sauce to make Freddy's garlicky pizza twirls and spicy dip. The Mega Pizza Plex is full of twists and turns, so get ready for another. <laughs> these are these are silly. Time to step up to the plate with a rockin' recipe for garlicky pizza twirls, along with a chili dipping sauce that's sure to spice up your kitchen. That was my oven preheating. That's what that was. To 425. If you guys want to see the recipe for the dough and the sauce, you'll have to see the pizza recipe because that's where all that is. I'm not I'm not recording all that again. You're supposed to have parchment paper in a pan. I already did that. On a lightly floured surface, roll the pizza dough to a rough rectangular shape. Okay. This cup is still a bit dirty from working on the pizza. I actually recorded these on the same day. I don't have a rolling pin. I don't have a rolling pin. So, I am not that rich and fancy to own a rolling pin. Except I do, but it's in a box. I'm not going to unpack it. <laughs> so we, we're using a cup. It's a little... Don't be put off that it's a little bit greasy. I use this for the pizza dough. I'm literally recording these together. One after the other. So, we are using this as a rolling pin. Don't judge me for this. This is what I have. This is not going to turn out rectangular. How do you make this rectangular? I wonder if I need to, like, cut it. So we got this so far. What do you guys want me to do next? I gotta soften some butter in a microwave? Okay, I'll do that. How much butter do I need? Two tablespoons of booter. This is our cute butter container. I had to show you guys our cute butter container. Two tablespoons of the booter. There we go. You're going to microwave that. We have a microwave that's like attached. It's like part of the countertop. And when you open the door, it actually turns on, which is really dangerous. So we had to get a new one. We're gonna use our good microwave that doesn't try to cook my face. So let's use that real quick. Butter is doing its thing. You could probably hear it in the background. What do you guys want me to do? Mix in, I can't see all that, garlic and parsley. Parsley doesn't have much of a flavor, so I'm not doing parsley. I also didn't buy garlic cloves, but I do have garlic powder. Three cloves of garlic. I think what I normally do is a quarter. <laughs> I'll be back with you guys in a second because the butter's ready. So what I usually do is I usually do like a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder in place of a clove. I don't even know if that's right, but that's what I do. That's what I've been doing for years, so I may as well not change now. I don't see any point in changing things now. I'm not doing, and I also don't have a brush. I've, I've done this before when I make red lobster biscuits. I do this all the time, and instead of a brush, I just, I just, um, I forgot what I do. I just spoon it on and let it melt. <laughs> let it drizzle on top, okay. Got our garlic. Mix up our garlic butter. You don't need parsley. It doesn't taste like anything. It looks nice, but it doesn't taste like anything. Okay, I'm okay. Brush the garlic butter over the thing. I can't. What does it say? Right to the edges. And there's also tomato sauce. Okay. Oh, it's there's so much garlic in there. Okay. I just kind of do this. I kind of just drizzle it on. That's what I do. We'll do something like that, and then you put on the pizza sauce. It's not going right. I, I Just pour it on. Just pour it on. You know what? Why don't we pour it on and then like brush it all over it that way. Good enough is good enough for me. Do that. Just put it on. Spread it over. So this is, this is a recipe for people who don't want to get all the excess stuff and people who don't have all the supplies. I do have a brush, but it's packed with my rolling pin. Pizza sauce. How much pizza sauce? Brush the garlic butter over, spread the tomato sauce on the base, then mozzarella, and we're not doing Parmesan. I didn't buy Parmesan because who needs it? I'm not doing the Parmesan. Okay, how much pizza sauce? I'm trying to find that. Two tablespoons. Got a big old bowl. Got a big old bowl of pizza sauce right here. There you go. Spread it all over. Spread it all over. Are you sure that's enough? I don't. I guess I should do what they said. I don't always do the rules. I guess you probably don't want it right along the edges because it'll probably squeeze out. Starting from the long edge, 
Roll the dough into a tight, tight cylinder. I can't see all. Why do you guys want a serrated knife? Rolling it up. And uh, sure enough, the pizza sauce wants to escape. It really doesn't want to be here. It's good enough. They want me to use a serrated knife. It's supposed to be 10 of these. A lot of, there's a lot of oil. A lot of oil coming out the sides. This is very oily. Okay, I'm very messy. No, duck, no! Why are you cutting me up? Oh, ow! I'm sorry, thingy. I gotta chop you into tens. Oh, duck, why? The humanity of it all. Oh, dear. I hope I'm at least delicious, though. Ho, ho. Gotta put them in our pan. I just realized I just did something totally wrong. You were supposed to put the cheese in. You're supposed to put the cheese in before you roll it up. I have totally done it wrong. There's supposed to be cheese in there. I should have paid attention. Spread the tomato sauce, then sprinkle mozzarella. I'm not doing Parmesan because you don't use much Parmesan. I'm not buying Parmesan just to use one tablespoon. What do I do? Am I gonna have to unroll these? I think I have to unroll these. I have to unroll them all and put the cheese on. That's just, that's just silly. That's just so silly. I did it wrong. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, you guys, oh, you guys can't even see it, there it is. I've unrolled it. That's what I'm gonna do with all of them. I'll meet up with you guys in a moment when I'm done fixing my error. I had to unroll them, put in cheese, and roll them back up again. And then it said you're supposed to line them with the cut sides facing up. So that's what we have. So we're going to put them in the oven at 425 for 10 minutes. And while they're cooking, we are going to make the sauce. So I'll meet up with you guys in a second. Time to make some spicy dipping sauce. Three tablespoons of the pizza sauce. Alrighty. A uh, quarter teaspoon hot peppers or chili flakes. I don't have chili flakes. I thought it was supposed to be spicy. Spicy. We have red cayenne pepper. Maybe that will work. Pretty easy. Quarter cayenne pepper. Make it spicy. And a tablespoon of olive oil. Tablespoon of olive oil. I don't have olive oil. I have canola oil. It's good enough. Olive oil is expensive. Pour it in there. Mix up that sauce. It's got oil and cayenne pepper. It's just, yeah, it's it's that. This is what we got. This is the sauce. So I will meet up with you guys in about 10 minutes when the stuff is ready and we can check it out. After 10 minutes, we got our delicious little rolls. I actually think they turned out pretty good. There they are, I think they turned out good. These are the garlicky pizza twirls with the spicy dip right over here. I'm gonna check them out. They're gonna be kinda hot. Give you guys a little quick shot of what this looks like. This would be even better if like, you know those little like tiny pepperoni cubes? Feels like that would be good if you added those little pepperoni cubes in there. Hopefully, it, it, they're just kind of a shadow. Kind of a shadow, I'm making sure you guys can see it okay. Got the cheese coming out, got the sauce. And we got our dipping sauce, so I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna give it a try without the sauce first. Perfectly pleasant. Bread is just a little crispy and crusty on the edges, but nice and soft on the inside. You taste a little bit of the sauce and cheese. I don't know if it got messed up when I had to unroll everything and redo it, but we should try the dip. We definitely try the dip. Maybe that's why they have a spicy dip because there's not a whole lot of flavor. Definitely better with the dip. There's a reason they have the dip. There's not a whole lot of flavor without the dip. Oh, it's nice and spicy. Yeah, the dip's perfectly good. Like I said, I did a quarter teaspoon of red cayenne pepper as opposed to whatever the heck they were saying. I don't know how that stuff would be in comparison, but it's definitely spicy with some cayenne pepper. It's pretty tasty though, with, with the sauce. What am I going to rank this? Out of, out of 10 Faz points, what would I rank this? Without the sauce, it's like a five out of 10 because there's just not a lot of flavor. It's not bad, but it's not great and exciting either. With the sauce, I would give it an eight out of 10 fast points. It's good with the sauce, seven or eight, a 7.5. It gets a 7.5 fast points out of 10. But yeah, that, that was pretty fun. Please let us know in the comments what else you would like to see in the future. 
do be on the lookout for a poll where I might ask you guys what recipes you want to see next. If you want to see what recipes are in the book, please look at our flip through, our official Five Nights at Freddy's cookbook flip through. I show you all the recipes in that one. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, don't forget to visit us at virtualbastion.com for more gaming goodness. Goodbye, and you're welcome.